I want to always get that because they say, oh, there's so much anointings in the building. It's not the building because once we all walk out this building, guess what? The anointing going right with us. It's not the building. It's the people. It's the connection, the power. Don't you know the more of us with the power of God is, the stronger that power will get? It'll be a time we won't have to touch nobody. We'll just blow on them or wave our hand and they'll fall. If we believe that, that's how bad God is. He is a conqueror. You can't defeat us. Mm -hmm. Oh, he'll go. He gonna try to beat on you. Yeah. Yeah, he will. Let him. Yeah. Let him have his little fun. Yeah. Let him. You can even let him think he got you for a minute. They even laugh and say, "See, now you look stupid, don't you? <laughs> now you look stupid, don't you? You oh, thought yeah. you had me, Not but you don't. And that's how he worked. He will hit you with your bills." He'll hit you in your heart. Oh my God. He, if he can get to your heart. Now I'm going to tell you something about your heart. Though God got it kind of, kind of, he got a tight grip on the heart. You know that belongs to God. That's God's. You, he'll let the devil mess with your body, your skin, your bills, your house. That heart, he kind of got that kind of tight. So if the devil tap in on that, make sure you get anointed and get prayed for. Because God got a hold on the heart. Because that's where the love come from. But the enemy will try to tap in on it. Be very mindful. Be encouraging. Whatever you do, wait. Don't wait complaining. Mm -hmm. Don't wait um, talking to people about things that ain't their business. Let me tell you something. The stuff that you talk to about God ain't nobody's business but you and God. When God ready for it to be revealed, he'll do it in a way where it don't look like you're being talked about things. It just looks like that is something they need to know. Because, see, God has a thing he called it. It's sacred. Sacred. I talk to God about something. I mean, I'm not going to tell you and you because you're not going to fix it. Because mm -hmm. if he was going to let you fix it, guess what? He'll send you. Amen. He'll send you right to me. Amen. Like, Sister Rita, I don't know why, but you was on my heart. I, I got to do something for you because God told me to. That's how God works. So don't think people just coming up to you, giving you stuff because they love you. It's because God put it in their heart. And he, they did their job. So I say, wait. Wait upon the Lord. Be of good courage. And whatever you do, Wait joyfully. Amen. Feeling good about who God is in your life. Amen. Feeling good to know that he's with you no matter what. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Amen. Just wait on the Lord. Amen.